guys welcome back to my channel this is Madison here for another get ready with me slash I tutorial it is three o'clock in the morning again getting ready for work but I decided to use the Marc Jacobs palette that I found at Marshall's that I told you guys about here it is here and I am also using the dare to create palette from Morphe although you cannot find the dare to create palette on morphe's website anymore right now but it's not unusual for morphe to bring back limited edition items though they are limited edition so in that being said make sure you stay tuned and continue to watch if you want to get this look Starting off, my brows are already done, my eyes are primed with concealer. I am going in with MAC Soft Brown in the crease to set that concealer and act as my transition shade. Next in with the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. This palette is limited edition, but it should be coming back soon, I hope. I'm going in with this brown color to put into my crease to define my crease a little bit more. I am using all Morphe and Luxie brushes in this tutorial. Now I am going in with this next shade with a smaller blending brush to define my crease a little bit more. I am focusing this color on the outer part of my crease and a little bit dragging whatever is left into the inner crease. Next I am taking that fluffy bl blending brush from before to soften out any harsh edges that I have. There is no product on the brush. Now going in with this beautiful, beautiful green shade called Fickle, I am putting this in my outer corner and blending it a little bit in, I would say about two thirds of the way in. Now going in with a small blending brush, I am further blending out any harsh lines that I have may have had with the green color. Now I am taking some concealer on the back of my hand. You can use any type of concealer that you like. I am cutting my crease halfway now this may look easier than it really is this actually is um, a little sped up so it actually took me longer than you see in the video but I am cutting out the crease with an angled brush the best way I know how I normally don't do cut creases but today I wanted to do a cut crease Now the star of the show, the Marc Jacobs Icon number no. 7 palette in the shade, um, in the name Night Owl, I'm going in with this beautiful blue shade. I am taking my e.l.f. glitter primer and placing that on top of the concealer so that the blue eyeshadow pops a lot more. Now I am packing and pressing this on my lid. I am not swiping, I am packing and pressing this on my lid so that the color stands out. 
and I did not wet my brush on this I'm not sure how it works when you wet your brush with these type of shadows uh, from Marc Jacobs but I did not wet my brush my brush is completely dry and I am packing this on my lid Now I am going in with that small blending brush with no product on it. I am using whatever is left over to blend out any harsh lines that may have occurred while cutting the crease. I want to have the demarcation of dark going to that blue so it has that cut crease effect. Now I am blending in the edges of the blue and the green together so that it's seamless. Going in with Fickle again, I am mixing that in with the black shade to deepen the outer corner. Now I'm going back in with that same small blending brush to focus that shadow in that one area now I have completed the eyes and lashes off camera I have also done my foundation and powder off of camera the eyelashes that I'm using are from be crowned beauty I believe her name is on Instagram and these are in the style Empress I am going in with my Milani blush and the wet n wild highlighter Notice that I only put the highlighter on my cheeks. I have so much going on, I did not highlight my nose. Now I am going in with this vanilla-y skin tone shade and placing this on my lower lash line. I am also taking the shade Fickle, that beautiful green shade, and placing a little bit of that on my lower lash line as well so that it is more tied together. Now going in with Nika K Clear Lip Gloss. You can use any kind of clear lip gloss. I just used whatever I had lying around. And this is what I'm putting on my lips for the day. And I'm going to tame those brows. And voila, I am taking off this Aunt Jemima headscarf. So my ledges can a lay flat. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ooh, look at the edges. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next. Bye.